The Air Force Institute of Technology is a graduate school and provider of professional and continuing education for the United States Armed Forces and is part of the United States Air Force. It is located in Ohio at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, near Dayton. AFIT is a component of the Air University and Air Education and Training Command. Overview Founded in 1919 and degree granting since 1954, the Air Force Institute of Technology is the Air Force's graduate school of engineering and management as well as its institution for technical professional continuing education. AFIT is located at Wright Patterson Air Force Base, WPAFB, Dayton, Ohio. Dayton's heritage and industrial base in aeronautics and aviation, coupled with the close proximity to the Air Force Research Laboratory and the National Air and Space Intelligence Center provide a scientific and engineering research and educational experience focused on producing future leaders of the Air Force, a component of Air University and Air Education and Training Command, its primary purpose is to provide specialized education to select select officer and enlisted U.S. military personnel and civilian employees. The United States Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs is the undergraduate counterpart of AFIT for the Air Force. On 8 May 2012, AFIT formally welcomed its first civilian director and chancellor during an appointment of leadership ceremony. Dr. Todd Stewart served for 34 years with the U.S. Air Force, retiring in 2002 at the rank of Major General. On 28 January 2015, AFIT welcomed its first Provost and Vice-Chancellor Drive Sivaguru S. Srithara and former Dean of Engineering and Applied Sciences at the Naval Postgraduate School. Academics. <laughs> <laughs> AFIT's four schools include The Graduate School of Engineering and Management offers graduate programs leading to Master of Science and Doctor of Philosophy degrees in Engineering, Applied Science, and Management Disciplines. The Graduate School has six departments Aeronautics and Astronautics Electrical and Computer Engineering Engineering Physics Mathematics and Statistics Operational Sciences Systems Engineering and Management The School of Systems and Logistics teaches more than 80 professional continuing education courses in Acquisition Management, Logistics Management, Contracting, Systems Management, Software Engineering, and Financial Management delivered to warfighters around the globe via customer-focused delivery modes including resident, on-site, and online courses. The Civil Engineer School develops and delivers civil engineer and environmental professional continuing education and provides consultation in support of U.S. Air and Space Forces. School of Strategic Force Studies provides undergraduate, postgraduate, and continuing education and research to worldwide students at the Air Force's Nuclear College, Kirtland Air Force Base National Security Space Institute, Peterson Air Force Base and via part-time enrollments at civilian universities including Harvard, Stanford, King's College London, AFIT, Naval Postgraduate School, and others. It manages manage overall execution of space and nuclear continuing education develop, coordinate, maintain, update and teach curriculum coordinate scheduling of courses and distinguished guest instructors. AFIT has seven research centers funded by a number of federal agencies with interdisciplinary scope and international footprint representing a number of game-changing scientific areas for the United States Air Force and the Department of Defense, Autonomy and Navigation Technology Center and Center for Directed Energy CDE, Center for Cyberspace Research and the Air Force Cyberspace Technical Center of Excellence Center for 
Operational Analysis Center for Space Research and Assurance Center for Technical Intelligence Studies and Research Scientific Test and Analysis Techniques in Test and Evaluation Topic Graduate School of Engineering and Management AFIT's Graduate School of Engineering and Management is a graduate-only, research-based institution and the sole degree-granting element of AFIT. The Graduate School focuses on studies and research that are relevant to the Air Force mission as well as the needs of the defense establishment as a whole. AFIT's Aeronautics and Astronautics Department has graduated nine U.S. astronauts including Guy Bluford PhD 1978, first African-American astronaut. Since resident degrees were first granted in 1955, more than 19,316 graduate and 832 Doctor of Philosophy degrees have been awarded. Topic. Students The Air Force Institute of Technology enrolls over 700 full-time graduate students. The student body consists primarily of Air Force officers, but is rounded out by members of the other four U.S. Armed Services, select enlisted airmen, international students from coalition countries, U.S. government civilians, and civilians US citizens not affiliated with the government. Selection of officers for graduate education is fully funded by their service and is based upon outstanding professional performance as an officer, promotion potential, and a strong academic background. Admission of non-government affiliated civilians is based on academic preparation and requires U.S. citizenship. A substantial number of AFIT graduates are assigned to AFRL and NASIC upon graduation from AFIT. Many of the AFIT student thesis projects are influenced directly or indirectly by AFRL, NASIC, NRO and other Air Force and Defense agencies. Faculty The faculty body consists of approximately a 50 to 50 mix of military and civilian members all of whom hold a PhD in their fields. The faculty to student ratio is typically 1 to 6 in the master's degree programs. Topic: <coughs> Accreditation. <coughs> 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 AFIT is accredited by the Higher Learning Commission of the North Central Association of Colleges and Schools, 30 North LaSalle Street, Suite 2400 Chicago, Illinois 60602-2504 to offer degrees to the doctorate level. Eight engineering programs in the Graduate School of Engineering and Management are accredited at the advanced level by the Accreditation Board for Engineering and Technology Topic. Academic calendar The institute operates year-round on a quarter calendar which includes the fall, winter, spring, and summer terms. The quarters are ten weeks in length plus a week for examinations. Typically, the fall term begins in late September and ends in mid December, the winter term begins in early January and ends in mid March, the spring term begins in late March and ends in mid June, and the summer term begins in late June and ends in early September. <laughs> Cost The educational expenses for full-time military students assigned to AFIT are paid by their respective uniformed service. For tuition-paying students, the approximate cost is $6,420 per quarter for full-time enrollment based on 12 quarter hours and a tuition rate of $535 per quarter hour. AFIT is tuition waived for civilian employees of the Department of Defense. Topic. Civilian institution programs 
Through its civilian institution programs, AFIT also manages the educational programs of officers enrolled in civilian universities, research centers, hospitals, and industrial organizations. Air Force students attending civilian institutions have earned more than 12,000 undergraduate and graduate degrees in the past 20 years. Notable AFIT alumni George W. S. Abbey, former Director Johnson Space Center Brigadier General Russell J. Annard, USAF, Ret. Captain Milburn G. Apt, the first pilot to achieve Mach 3 General George T. Babbitt, Jr., USAF, Ret. Brigadier General Roseanne Bailey, USAF, Ret. David Barish, developer of the paraglider Lieutenant General Ted F. Bolds Brigadier General Carey C. Chun Lieutenant General Roger G. Decock, USAF, Ret. Lieutenant General William J. Donahue, USAF, Ret. General Jimmy Doolittle, Doolittle Raider. Lieutenant General Hans H. Driesnack, USAF, Ret. Colonel Arnold L. Franklin, Jr., USAF, Ret. In April 1986, as the 493rd Tactical Fighter Squadron, Franklin led the USAF raid on Libya. Dr. Russell Merle Jennett, pioneered the world's first fully robotic observatory. Lt. Colonel George E. Hardy, USAF, Ret. Tuskegee Airmen. Brigadier General Harold R. Harris, USAF, Ret. General Robert T. Herres, USAF, Ret. General Charles R. Holland, USAF, Ret. Robert P. Johannes, one of the developers of the Control Configured Vehicle CCV concept Lt. Colonel Frank A. Capella, USAF, Ret. Doolittle Raider General George Kenny, USAF, Ret. Major General Donald L. Lamberson, USAF, Ret., considered the father of lasers in the Air Force Major General Louis G. Laser, USAF, Ret. Donald S. Lopez, USAF, Ret., Deputy Director of the Smithsonian's National Air and Space Museum Lieutenant John A. McCready, American test pilot and aviator Lieutenant General Forrest S. McCartney, USAF, Ret. Lt. Colonel Harry C. McCool, USAF, Ret. Doolittle Raider Lt. John A. McCready, USAF, Ret. American Test Pilot and Aviator General Bernard Schriever, USAF, Ret. General Lawrence Scanser, USAF, Ret. Major General Joseph K. Spears, USAF, Ret. Lieutenant General James W. Stansberry, USAF, Ret. Lieutenant General William E. Thurman, USAF, Ret. Major General Jerry White, Navigators, USAF, Ret. Colonel Richard V. Wheeler, USAF, Ret. American Test Pilot and Aviator. Lt. Colonel Archie Williams, USAF, Ret. Gold medal winner of the 400m Sprint 1936 Olympic Games in Berlin Michael Wynne, former Secretary of the Air Force <laughs> Current military leaders Lieutenant General Joseph P. DeSalvo, USA Lieutenant General John E. Whistler, USMC Major General William T. Bill Cooley, USAF Major General Dwyer L. Dennis, USAF Major General Scott W. Jansen, USAF Major General S. John M. Pletcher, USAF Brigadier General Roy Allen C. Augustine, USAF Brigadier General Kenneth T. Bibb, Jr., USAF Brigadier General Eric T. Fick, USAF 
Brigadier General Gregory M. Gutterman, USAF Brigadier General David W. Hicks, USAF Brigadier General Linda S. Hurry, USAF Brigadier General Carly e. Schaefer, USAF Brigadier General Donna D. Shipton, USAF Brigadier General Brad M. Sullivan, USAF NASA astronauts Kevin A. Ford Michael E. Fossum William Anders Guyan Bluford Mark N. Brown Gordon Cooper Albert H. Cruz Don F. Isiel John M. Fabian Gus Grissom James D. Halsell Stephen Lindsay Richard Mullen Donald H. Peterson Major General Robert A. Rushworth, USAF, Ret. Topic: Current civilian senior leaders. Eileen A. Bjorkman, Dr. L. Wayne Brazier, Kevin W. Buckley, Bruce A. Busler, Charles G. Chuck Carpenter, Mark A. Coral, Dr. Daniel D. Forrest, Dr. Mark A. Gallagher. James F. Gure, Mr. Michael M. Mike Hale, Dr. Kelly D. Hammett, Robert Scott Jack II, Dr. Brian A. Ma, Dr. Charles L. Matson, Richard W. McKinney, David C. Merker, Dr. Billy W. Mullins, Dr. David F. O'Brien Gary A. O'Connell Charles N. Pete Peterson Dr. Stephen K. Rogers Dr. David E. Walker Joseph D. Dean Yont <laughs> Former names Air School of Application 1919-1920 Air Service Engineering School 1920-1926 Air Corps Engineering School 1926-1941 Army Air Forces Engineering School 1944-1945 Army Air Forces Institute of Technology 1945-1947 Air Force Institute of Technology 1947–1948 United States Air Force Institute of Technology 1948–1955 Institute of Technology, USAF 1955–1956 Air Force Institute of Technology 1956–1959 Institute of Technology 1959–1962 Air Force Institute of Technology 1962–present <laughs>